Hello, this is Ed McManus. It's uh, uh, March, uh, what, 18th, Tuesday, about 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day for yesterday, but uh, we're here to take a quick look around to the progress here, continuing progress here at the Monomoy Regional Building Site, and we're out in front, and about the uh, only things that have been moved along here is they've gotten the roofs, the roofs done over the little Pete Gables, and the uh, starting to put in the storefront and the curtain wall and the glass in the front entrance, uh, which will be uh, coming to fruition in a couple days. Right, Ed. Uh, actually, you see the guy up on the lift over there. Uh, the EFIS will be going up with the, all the yellow is uh, now that they now that the weather is supposed to warm up. But hopefully, the rest of this week and into next week, they'll be starting their EFIS which is the uh, plaster on the yellow side that will finish the top of the uh, building. So that'll go over the yellow and uh, material and, and give it a real finished look. That's correct. Okay, well, uh, as you can see, it's a nice day today, so we're gonna take a, a walk around the site and show, see, how, see the progress on the outside before showing some of the progress on the inside. And with that, we'll take a little break and move around the site. Okay, we've moved around towards the uh, loading dock area, um, and uh, I forgot to introduce. With me today is uh, Bob Weiser, is, uh, uh, one of our uh, folks that live here in town. Bob's also involved with uh, the radio station WOMR, and they've been sort of eyeing the uh, uh, development of the uh, auditorium for uh, booking uh, some entertainment uh, uh, performances. and. Uh, uh, the school district hopes that there will be a number of folks that will do that and br hopefully bring in a little bit of revenue uh, to the, uh, uh, the district from renting out the facility. Um, Bob, as you can see, this is a loading dock and the doors over there right behind the auditorium was where if you bring in a nice band, they'll have a nice way to unload their equipment and get it into the facility. So. Always a good idea to have a loading dock. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, anyway, uh, you can see over the cafeteria here, they have uh, have the rooftop units um, for air conditioning. There's a couple more rooftop units here that will go over uh, to the locker room area and the fitness area once that's uh, uh, complete. Um, but as you can see, they're finishing up the last little bit of roofing and uh, uh, sheet metal work and the last little bit of masonry uh, left in this area. But uh, I know they're, they're glad to have some nice warm weather to get some of these outside items all buttoned up, Jerry. Yes, Ed, uh, as uh, I was telling you earlier, they, they're probably gonna be done this uh, loading dock area, which is the last of the brick masonry, uh, the exterior masonry, done at, by the end of this week. And also inside of the building, they're pretty much uh, 97, 98 percent done on the inside, so they'll be cutting back after this week to a couple of masons, and and they'll be getting out of everybody else's way, which we so badly need. That'll be good. All right, we'll uh, end uh, for take a break and uh, continue on around. All right, we're here uh, out in front of the uh, the back entrance, the com what we refer to as the community entrance. Uh, so they're still working on. They haven't started putting in the glass uh, to close it up, but will soon. Um, over the cafeteria, they're finishing up uh, the roofing on the, the gables. Uh, the skylights are in, um, but that should be finished up uh, by the end of the end of the week, and that'll be all nicely buttoned up. Uh, and then directly behind me is the uh, what are the the locker rooms and the fitness area. And you can see the, the doorways uh, exiting out of the, the locker rooms and will be available uh, for kids uh, and, and sports teams to make it directly over to the field uh, for PE class or, or for the football or soccer game or field hockey game. Um, the, uh, we've done, a, I think, a pretty good job of juxtaposing uh, all the different parts in, in a logical fashion, so it's gonna make it real easy uh, for the, the students and athletes and, and uh, faculty to, to use and, and, and manage uh, 
manage the school day here. Um, with that, uh, we'll take another break and, and move to the last side, and uh, which is uh, the one that I think is probably the most complete and, and moved ahead, so, and we'll get you a good view of that before heading in the building. All right, here we are. Um, is, let's see, this is the uh, north side, nor north side of the building. Uh, faces over to the athletic fields, but you can see um, they finally have gotten all of the panels in, separating the, the upper and lower windows, and it's getting close to giving the complete finished look that uh, we'll have. As uh, Jerry mentioned earlier, the only areas left is to do this, the uh, EFIS stucco work over the yellow uh, substrate, um, and the ex exterior will be uh, finished. Um, and then one of the things that's been going on the last two weeks is over in here, uh, they've been uh, digging up the, uh, the parking lot by White House Field. That gets all uh, redone. Uh, there's a number of utility lines that have to go in under that. And uh, so uh, Robert Auer, uh, our local contractor, site contractor, is doing that work, and they should be done not too long, uh, get everything squared away before baseball season starts. And we have the, all the, the senior softball leagues and the uh, NCAA tournament that will come in and be able to access the field. And then, uh, of course, the Cape League baseball will be in. But uh, that's uh, moving ahead. Uh, because of that, uh, a number of you have probably noticed out in front of the building, the big piles of dirt, they had to create some temporary parking lots out on the front lawns. And uh, that's what that's all about. Uh, we're going to take another break and head on inside the building and show you some of the progress in there. Okay, here we are uh, upstairs in uh, the science uh, lab area on the second floor. And uh, they've uh, moved quite a bit ahead. You can see they've started installing all the cabinetry uh, that will be going in, uh, uh, both uh, on the wall and down below. And uh, Bob's uh, very showing how they everything opens nicely. <laughs> but uh, and then there'll be sinks and cab uh, cabinet top and sink. Um, I think what. Uh, Four, four sinks along this wall, uh, three along the outside wall, um, but it's uh, uh, starting to look, give a sense of uh, how it will be used uh, as a teaching space. Um, it's very nice. Um, and then back behind is, on the far wall here is a window that opens into what's the uh, chemical storage area and the teacher prep room where the teachers can work to pre prep the lesson for the, the following class. Um, and uh, uh, how long before we start getting uh, flooring in here? Actually, before the flooring, Ed, um, we're going to take a step back. Uh, the uh, epoxy tops, that, that go, the countertops, they're all epoxy, and actually the window sills are epoxy too, will be uh, coming in tomorrow from what I've been told and uh, probably being only installed in a week once they get all the science labs, uh, all the cabinets in on the science labs, then they'll fall back, put the epoxy tops, and then they'll look at the flooring. So we got it one step before that and a little paint after that, and these rooms are going to be uh, ready, to ready to punch list, hopefully. <laughs> oh, good. Well, it's starting to, starting to close up. It looks like they're putting in ventilation systems for the chemicals and stuff for the labs. Yep. Yep, for all the done. yeah. Yep. Uh, all the uh, all the MEP work in, in these labs are they're tweaking, fine tuning a piece here, a piece there. That's all they have left. Once you see the ceiling grid goes in, usually the uh, above ceiling work is uh, pretty much finished. Outside of a, you know, add this, add that, you know. Okay, well there we have it. So we'll move on, and sh uh, show some of the areas downstairs. All right, we've. Uh, been been in this room quite a bit over the time. This is the auditorium, and they're finally getting the walls sheetrocked, and uh, it's starting to close close it up. Uh, the uh, you can see the the heat registers are all in. Uh, the cables are coming down to suspend lights on, uh, and these uh, frames, which will be sheetrocked over, 
and these are the sound panels. We're getting uh, in probably a, a, a week or two, they'll be spray painting the whole upper story black so that during performances you don't get any odd reflections uh, from the lighting system and, and spotlights coming out of from up there. But uh, they're starting to finish up the stage area and uh, as we said... I see we're building it with a nice catwalk so that people can do the lighting work without having to climb ladders and ropes up to work on. It's always good to have those catwalks. Well, and that's a good solid catwalk rather than the rickety wooden ones they have in the theater here. Um, but at 580 seats, uh, this will be able to do a great audience for uh, high school theater productions, but also it's a large enough auditorium that uh, a, a good uh, act from Boston can be brought down, uh, a name group, uh, and uh, be, able to, uh, be able to afford getting some good uh, entertainment down to this part of the Cape. Uh, previously, you know, Barnstable High School or the theater at the college has been about as far down as they come. But anyway, uh, this is, uh, they're making good progress here. Um, and we'll, from here, go downstairs and uh, take a look at the uh, main hallway. Media Center, um, and they've gotten all the sheetrock finally up. And are uh, finishing still a little bit of taping on some of the columns. But getting close to uh, putting the paint on. And uh, uh, over in here through the windows in there is where the uh, TV studio is going to be. Oh, well, we're looking out the uh, outside window. But over in the windows over here uh, is where the TV studio in control room will be and behind it the studio for doing production work. But the having a window looking this way is important so when the school committee is meeting in the media center uh, the people controlling the cameras will be able to uh, b see the, the school committee and, and uh, do, a, do a good job of uh, filming them. Uh, this uh, school will be wired uh, uh, with, through to Comcast, so the Education Channel, which in Harwich is 22, which uh, for many years has just been static, will be able to go live and they'll be able to do live originations from the high school. Uh, both of school committee and things like games in the gymnasium that's being set up so uh, they can be done live um, so it's to be quite quite the uh, uh, TV uh, uh, program here at the high school okay and for the close up for today's tour we're at one of the uh, sort of uh, generally not well shown areas we're out uh, showing you uh, the leach field in the septic system. Um, uh, wastewater is a big issue here in Harwich and uh, th it's an interesting we're showing you this because uh, it's it's rare that a facility this this large is, is allowed to be built with solely a septic system uh, traditional uh, with a traditional leach field. This leach field will be uh, power charged with pumps um, uh, but uh, it's a regular perk perk system, and it has to do with uh, the fact that out here on Cape Cod, it's like we all know a sandbar, and the uh, soil has a great absor ab absorption capacity. Um, when we uh, initially were in the design phase, we didn't know if the state and uh, the town would uh, would permit this, but we. Uh, so the, in the initial design, we uh, had a more uh, active uh, system uh, designed, a, it's called a package plant system. Uh, but by able to get this uh, system approved, we were able to reduce the construction cost of this septic uh, or the w waste disposal system by some $130,000, which is, it was a big savings. Uh, for the taxpayers here in, in Harwich because and Chatham because uh, it was one of the areas where the state wasn't going to participate in the cost so every dollar that we could cut down the cost was a dollar for dollar savings to uh, Harwich taxpayers and uh, over here you can see the top the manhole covers of uh, the holding tanks 
that uh, will be uh, where uh, the the sewage will drain out of the the high school, and then under the the square concrete box is the uh, pumps to do what they call p power dousing. They they actually pump it into the uh, leach field, so it is spread e evenly throughout the reach leach field uh, for. Um, uh, percolation down into the soil. Well, with that, we'll uh, wrap it up uh, today and uh, see you back in a couple weeks and we'll see what uh, further work's been completed. Uh, this is Ed McManus at the Monomoy uh, Regional High School building site with Jerry Albert and Bob Weiser. And thank you for watching. <laughs>